on Wednesday nights, most LSU fans come to TJ Ribs on Acadian Thruway to see head coach Les Miles, of course, for his weekly radio show. But I've got the real guys that are the stars of the radio show, the evil twins. This is Ken and Scott Dejon, and you all have been coming to this radio show all of Coach Miles' tenure. How did this all get started with the coach? I have a question. Well, it actually started two years, the last two years of the Nick Saban regime, because we, that's when the coaches so started. They needed people to ask questions uh, because there wasn't a lot of audience participation. And so I asked questions. And as time went on, the questions became shorter and the commentary became longer. Then, of course, I've been doing it ever since uh, 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 Coach Miles has been here for the last 10 years. Coach, I have a question. Coach, I have a question. Coach, I have a question. You all have a lot of material to work off of since you've never missed a home game in 32 years plus 23 straight years of bowl games how exciting is that to be able to follow the Tigers like that? I tell you, we've been very, very fortunate. You know, our whole lives revolve around LSU football. We we don't hunt, we don't fish, and you know, we've been we've been actually sitting in the same seats. I always sit to my brother's left. Last October, we found out with a guy that sat next to us. He asked us for our seat numbers, and we realized we've been sitting in the wrong seats for the last 32 <laughs> years. So so it was quite an humbling experience. You know, we thought we were sitting in the right seat, and we haven't been sitting in the right seats. So we, we, he was we, sitting in my seat, and I was sitting in his seat. So. <laughs> well, so far, so good. It's worked out. It's worked right. out real well. In fact, that we, we, it's karma. It's karma. You know, I always sit to my brother's left. When I'm not sitting to his left, I, we have to switch out, and we have to sit in the right position. Okay, now your day job, by the day, you were a lawyer and you're a vet, but on Wednesday nights, you were more of a writer, a monologue, I guess you could say, about LSU's upcoming opponent. How long does it take you to pin one of those questions for Coach Miles? It varies because, you know, in the most of my material actually comes out, I get my inspiration in February and in the summer. Desolate, devoid of intelligent life? I could have saved you a lot of money. I could have sent you $40. We could have drove six hours up the road and gone seen Opal like in Auburn for that. <laughs> You know, Mr. Ford was the one that said there wasn't going to be a problem stopping Leonard Fournette. And so we're going to give you the new name, Mr. Rudy. We're going to call you the Matador for your effort last week. <laughs> and when we get through with you, you're going to wish you were on that small spaceship with that 300-pound Frenchman named Philippe that don't wear deodorant. <laughs> Normally, a lot of my stuff is prepared months in advance. However, there are times where I will switch things out. In fact, I can very, like, I'll have a speech planned, and in route to the show, I'll get inspiration and totally scratch the speech. In fact, about two weeks ago for South Carolina, that speech was totally off the wing and what happened was I planned it and uh, I had a speech plan but in route to the show it we scratched it my brother called me up and it was he it oh, just you can't you, you, you can't berate South Carolina this isn't a good time to right, do it right. but he came forth and he came out with a, a good positive speech instead coach I'm for the last 12 years I've been the hatchet man and I will say this that if anybody deserves a reprieve from my, my foolishness, it's the good people of South Carolina. Is it safe to say that we will see the evil twins for years to come here at Coach's Show? Absolutely. Well, you know, the thing is, I always tell people it's not a right that I have to ask questions or to make commentary. I, it's a privilege. You have to be asked to do it. And, and I'm always, uh, I'm always say I'm honored and I'm blessed that LSU is, 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 is gracious enough to let me engage in my foolishness every week. Uh, they don't have to do it, but they asked me to do it, and so I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It was great getting to know y'all. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Go tie. Go tie. Go tie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I might have to steal some of his questions next time I talk to Les.